Hello, I'm David Rickman, the R&A's Executive Director of Rules and Equipment Standards. And I'm Thomas Pagel, Senior Director of Rules of Golf and Amateur Status for the United States Golf Association. Golf's governing bodies regularly review the rules of golf to maintain the game's traditions and to ensure that it stays in sync with developments in the game. The purpose of this short film is to help educate all players of all skill levels with the proposed rule change concerning anchored strokes. The RNA and USGA have regulated the golf stroke on several occasions, including the prohibitions against pushing, scraping, and spooning, and certain methods of putting that are more similar to a billiard or croquet style stroke. The rationale behind the proposed rule change is to maintain the fundamental characteristics of the putting stroke. The proposed rule, which follows an extensive review by the USGA and the R&A, would prohibit strokes made with any club or a hand gripping the club held directly against the player's body or with a forearm intentionally held against the body to establish an anchor point that indirectly anchors the club. The very essence of playing the game has been to grip the club with the hands and swing it freely. The player's challenge is to control the movement of the club when striking the ball, and anchoring the club alters the nature of that challenge. So let's look at what the proposed rule change means for golfers. While the new rule would allow the continued use of conforming equipment, including belly length and long putters, it requires that these clubs be used in accordance with the new rule. These are examples of strokes with these clubs that would not be allowed by the new rule. Here, the strokes would not be permissible because the club or the hand gripping the club is held intentionally in contact with the body. Under new rule 14-1b, the penalty would be two strokes in stroke play or loss of hole in match play. The proposed rule also states that a player must not make a stroke using an anchor point established by intentionally holding the forearm in contact with his or her body. The narrow purpose of this part of the rule is to prevent the forearm from being used as an indirect way to achieve the same effect as if the club or hand were held against the body. Such a prohibited method of stroke is demonstrated in this illustration where the top hand stabilizes the club as if it were anchored to the body, and the lower hand is held down the shaft and is working independently to swing the club around that stable anchor point. This is not an equipment rules change. Players at all levels can continue to use currently conforming clubs, including long and belly putters. And they can continue to use a variety of putting strokes. Thomas, let's have a look at a few more examples. Most players are familiar with strokes commonly used with a standard length putter. These three strokes are all examples of putting methods permitted under the proposed rule because the player has not directly anchored the club or created an anchor point. All of the strokes that are permissible with a standard length putter are equally permissible with the long putter or the belly putter provided the player does not directly anchor the club or create an anchor point by holding a forearm against his or her body. In addition, the proposed rule allows for the player to hold the club or gripping hand against a hand or forearm. This is considered simply to be a natural extension of gripping a club and is not considered to be anchoring because the entire club swings freely. The rule change is due to be ratified in the spring of 2013 and implemented in January 2016. This ties in with our normal rules review process over four years, but most importantly, it gives all players affected by this change an opportunity to change their method of stroke if necessary. With any change to the rules of golf, our goal is to protect the fundamental character that makes the game unique and to preserve the traditions and enjoyment for both current and future players. For more information or clarification about the newly proposed changes to Rule 14-1, please visit usga.org forward slash anchoring or rnda.org forward slash anchoring. The USGA and the R&A are golf's governing bodies that administer the rules of golf, rules of amateur status, equipment standards, and world amateur golf rankings.